Good morning. I am ready for my 7 a.m. bar class, and today we fly to Los Angeles. But first, we have lots to do. So, if you just want to grab yourself a ball if you have one, if not, don't keep yourself rolled up jumper. Two sets of weights. I'm done, and that was a really good class. I always find 7 a.m.s a bit. I don't know. I never know how they're gonna go. But I always feel amazing by the end of them and that one was a really, really good one. I always try and be as active as possible on the days that I fly. I just tend to find it really helped me with like regulating in a new place. Oh, did you hear that? Let's go. No time to dilly dally. Look at the amazing morning sun. This time of year is kind of magical. All of my fave skincare has been packed, so I'm using my second favorite range. This is the Vino Pure range from Cordley. I just really like how they make skincare routines really easy. There's like no question, no confusion. You know, like the green ones are routine, the purple ones are routine, the pink ones are routine, you know? I know it sounds really obvious, and even with other brands, you know, they will say the name, but when I'm like grabbing and going, I like to just know. So I've done the serum now, I'm doing the moisturizer. I've been through so many of these. <laughs> For eye cream, I'm going to use the Origins Ginseng. I feel like this definitely classes as a cult product now. I really should have done this before moisturizer, but I didn't. And then for SPF, I'm using my Salty SPF 30. I've packed my SPF 50 from them, otherwise I'd obviously be using that. You know what I really need to find? An SPF that has anti-pollution in it, or like a pollution filter block. I, I think Clinique used to do one. Her hair's not looking very loved today. I think it's only like four day hair, to be fair. But I'm not gonna wash it this morning because whenever I arrive anywhere, I like to do like a full reset. So hair wash, everything. And I obviously don't want to wash it twice in one day. Oh, it's not awful. A little bit of a brush out and I feel like it's okay. It could do with some oil in the ends though. It's seven degrees out there. I'm wearing a thing of use. Let's go to Canary Wharf and get these nails fixed. I'm back and look how perfect my nails are. Oh my goodness. I can't even explain to you. Oh, can you even see that? Can you see them like shimmer? Oh, so happy. So I'm just packing up my belongings into my bag. I'm like, oh, I don't even know where to start. I'm like shutting everything up, ready to go. Get dressed with me to take an 11 hour flight to Los Angeles, California. Get dressed with me. I do these every single day over on Facebook. And if you ever have times where you're like, Emily, why don't you post? I do, just on Facebook. I do these Get Dressed With Me videos where I pick my outfit, I update you on my life, I let you know what I'm up to in that day. Maybe I've seen something and we have a chat about it and get a bit deep, you know? The best way I can describe it is like, you guys here and on Instagram are like my school friends. And the group of people I have over on Facebook are like my out of school friends. They're like my friends from my hobby. It's like, I don't know, like my horse riding friends. And I'm there, I'm present over there. I'm, I post pretty much every day over there. So if for some reason I'm not at school one day, chances are I'll be over at horse riding. Um, so if you, wanna, if you wanna join me at my after school activity, I, do, I don't know why I feel the need to describe it that way. But if you'd like to join me, over on Facebook, I do these every day, but I thought today I would give you a little kind of taster of what it's like, and I enjoy these so freaking much. So many of you rinse me because of my outfits, and I'm okay with that. Some more formal accessories, otherwise I'm gonna look ridiculous. This is the sweater of choice. It's new in from Andela Stories, and I love. It's actually really cold out there today. I think it was like seven degrees when I went out earlier, so. I definitely need this. I don't know how it's gonna feel on the plane though because it's got lots of holes in it. So I don't know if I'm going to get cold because I've got a short sleeve t-shirt on. I normally don't do that. But we're gonna find out. It's got huge sleeves, so I'm just gonna roll them up. I feel like this is like smart cash travel attire. Like I don't really know what vibe I'm going for, but I'm happy with it. I mean, I kind of wanna leave my sleeves like that. I think it looks way better, but we'll do that once I packed <laughs> when I don't have to carry my cases. This is the shoe and sock combo. I've got my Nike socks and my Ultra Mini Uggs. I don't think traveling in Uggs, do you know what, I'm being very impractical today. Traveling in Uggs is not a good idea because they're not a supportive shoe, but do I want to be comfortable? Yes, I do. And am I just gonna get over it and do it anyway? I absolutely am. Okay, I really like how this is looking. 
Not that anyone's gonna see me. We have a new member of the family. Isn't she stunning? This is the Burberry Waterloo Trench and it's the newest trench in my collection. It's unbelievable. Let me show you how it looks on. What do you think? She's so long, I love it. I have a very specific way that I like to have my trenches sit and I don't want anything flapping around. It looks a bit more fitted right now because the sales associate very kindly tied it at the back for me in the very proper way they do it because I can't do that. But this is, yeah, my new trench. It's a size 10 for reference. I like my trenches slightly oversized, so this is perfect. Obviously I've got a very thick jumper under it and it still looks absolutely fine. And yeah, it's just a dream. I wear my green one pretty much every single day and I just thought it was about time to have the traditional camel color in the collection. I'm so in love with it. I can't even explain to you the buzz that I got when I bought it because I just know it's going to fit seamlessly into my collection and my wardrobe and I think that's crazy. To know before you buy something you're just gonna wear something for years and years to come all the time is really cool, it's really powerful. But these are my accessories. I always travel with my Louis Vuitton Josh backpack. This is from the men's section, but it's a bag, so it doesn't really make a difference. And then of course, I'm traveling with my Ramoa luggage. I have my, can you see the man, my white one? And then this is just my carry-on. But this is today's look. I hope you enjoyed. Head over to my Instagram to keep up with what I'm up to. I am vlogging and I will see you in California. Bye. I've pretty much got everything done that I wanted to do. And amazingly, a delivery that I was expecting that was literally supposed to come like between nine and one today. And I need to leave at 12.30, it's like 12.33 right now. It came like two minutes ago. Of course it will come like at the end of the, the window, but it's here and I'm so happy about it because that is something that I really wanted to take with me. Why is there a dust bag in there? <gasps> There's the dust bag. Oh, fine, okay. Now, to be fair, I am leaving plenty of time to get to the airport, which is why I'm not stressed, because I have so much to get done at the actual airport. Let me know what type of traveler you are, because I am without a doubt the type of traveler that just likes to get get there and get through and checked in. My boyfriend will get to the airport like an hour and a half before and just waltz through and I'm like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? I just have to show you this, look at my hand luggage. <laughs> oh, the joys, we're gonna enjoy these so much. I feel like movie night and sweets is the vibe of this trip. Let's take this to the rubbish chute. So I haven't shown you yet, but meet the newest member of the family. This is my new Waterloo Trench from Burberry, and I'm very excited about it. You'll know if you watch, I wear my Westminster one literally three, four, five times a week, which is the green one. Oh, the sleeves, they're massive. And I thought it was about time to get one in the camel color. And I just know I'm going to wear this to absolute death. It is a size 10 for reference. I've got it tied at the back so it looks way more fitted than it actually is. It is quite oversized, but I just adore it. But we need to leave. So let's go and collect this parcel en route and go to the station. <laughs> waiting for James to pull around and pick me up. There was no line at immigration, it was wild. I literally just walked through and the immigration officer was so chirpy because seriously it's the evening. He was like complimenting my microblading and everything. He's like, your brows look different, what have you done? Because I had them microbladed last week. He was like, they look so even. I was like, thanks. So yeah, just waiting for James to pull around now and pick me up and I'm ready to go and eat. I, it was a great flight. I slept for like three hours, woke up for a bit, did some work and then slept for another like five, four, five hours. So I'm feeling really good, but I'm very ready to go eat, have a shower and get into some comfy clothes and snuggle up with my old blanket. Let's go get some food. We're heading to the grocery store. I want to get some soy milk so I can make my coffee in the morning. And I, do you know what I'm really craving? I'm really craving pasta. So I might get some mac and cheese, but yeah, I'm very ready for this. You're in the fridge right now. I just had to share. So I ate my dinner, it was really lovely. And I was just looking through the fridge and the freezer, seeing what we have in, so I know what to get the groceries for tomorrow. And look, I forgot I left cookies. I left, honestly, this sums me up. I left James a bag of cookies with 
baking instructions because I just, if you've followed me for years, you'll know cookie dough is the thing. And they, do you know what? They're actually better out the freezer. So they just made me smile. And uh, we do have sourdough. So I'm going to eat this in the morning as toast. Oh my gosh, it is midnight. <laughs> I need to unpack. This is all my stuff that I left here and it was all packed away because we were getting work done. And then for some reason, half the work got done and the other half didn't. So the work's not finished. So my stuff's still all away, but it's, it's fine. I just, it means I need to unpack it so I can like get to my chargers and all my stuff. I think my pajamas are in our bedroom. Well, my friends, I'm gonna call it a night. I am here. I will probably film tomorrow whilst I unpack everything and get situated. I have lots to sort and we're gonna go and do probably a Trader Joe's run. Uh, we didn't buy much earlier because <laughs> you know when you're just so hungry, you can't think anything of anything sorry other than like your dinner so we did that and then came back here and we've literally just been hanging out and catching up for the past few hours which has been so lovely but it is midnight and i need to call it a night because i'm very tired uh but yeah i'm gonna get sorted if you've made it this far please give the vlog a like and if you'd like to see more well more there's not been any if you'd like to see an la vlog please do give it a thumbs up and i will see you bright and early in the morning